Hello all, my name is Pritam and you are watching Tech with Pri. Welcome to my channel and I'm back with another tech video. Hey everyone, so if you are new in this channel, so this is my channel Tech with Pri where I post tech videos. So right now we are going on Windows Server 2016 uh, tutorial and you can find all the videos here. And uh, also very soon we are uh, coming with Microsoft Azure okay the cloud service provider so make sure you subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you can get notified whenever i post a new video all right and also i introduced harry uh, a few months back where we try to you know uh, represent the tech things in a funny way so if you are interested you can go ahead and follow the uh, instagram account all right Okay, so in my last video, we have understood the, you know, further demonstration of the group policy object or the GPO. And we have created a GPO by applying which uh, you can set the same desktop wallpaper for, for every machine that is there in your domain. So the GPO has been applied to the domain level so that every time, uh, like all the computers that are part of the domain will start their machine, they will have the same wallpaper. And that's what happened whenever working in an organization or an IT company. Okay, so we have understood this. And uh, so guys, by any chance, if you have missed the video, so don't worry, I'm going to put the link in the description. And also you can find the link here in your screen right now. All right. So in today's video, let's see what we are going to learn. OK, so what we are going to do today is we will go to the further demonstration of the GPO. And this will be very interesting, guys, because we are going to deploy a software to each and every computer by using the GPO. So suppose I want to install the Google Chrome or Adobe Reader in every machines that I have in my domain. Right. So it's quite like impossible to go to every machine and try to install the software. So if we can deploy the software in such a way so that, uh, you know, the all the machines will get the software, it will be automatically installed on the system. Right. So that would be great. And that's what we are going to do today. So we are going to deploy a software that is Google Chrome to each of the client machine that is part of our domain tech with pre. OK, so for this first, we'll download the dot MSI file of Google Chrome or the Chrome software, because this is only possible with the help of the dot MSI file. So uh, I'll show you how you can download the Chrome uh, in the version of dot MSI. OK, uh, next, uh, we'll create a shared folder and we'll store the file there. OK, we'll create a folder and put the MSI file or the installation file on this folder and we'll make the folder as shared folder. Next, we'll create a new OU in the AD where we'll store the computer account because this group policy is going to be applied on the computer. OK, because it would be systems. It would be system specific, not the user specific. All right. So there are two type of types of policy we have seen uh, in group policy object. That is one is user and one is computer. So previously we have done user. Now today we are going to do in computer. So we will create a new organization unit um, because on OU we can apply the GPO and we'll move the computers account to them. Then we'll create the group policy, uh, the GPO for software development deployment. OK, so that's our target. And finally, we'll test in our client machine whether it is automatically deploying or not. Make sure you watch the full video, guys. This is going to be very interesting video. So let's get started. So here I am in my server machine. So I'm going to quickly log in. OK, so uh, as you can see, the wallpaper has been changed because uh, I have applied the previous group policy on the domain level. So again, guys, if you missed that interesting video, you can go ahead and check. Link will be there in the description. OK, so now I'll go to the Internet Explorer quickly and I'll show you how you can download the Google Chrome. So it's very simple, uh, the MSI file. So just write download Chrome MSI file. Just click on that. I'm going to put the link in the description also and just go to the this site download Chrome browser for your business Chrome Enterprise. So I'm going to control click it to open a new tab and all you need to do is that download this file. If you are having 32 bit computer, you can download this option. So I'm going to download this and I've already downloaded the Chrome bundle for Windows 64 bit. 
so it is a zip file so as you can see i have unzipped it let me show you the file so this one the file i have downloaded and then i have converted it and then under this if i just go to the installers you can see google chrome standalone enterprise 64 and this is a msi file we just go to the properties you can see this is the dot msi file and that's we want this is the windows installer package okay and uh, now the next step would be create a shared folder so i'm gonna name it as uh, software or we can name it as chrome also yeah, let's name it as chrome it would be more specific so i'll just copy this installer file the msi file and i'm going to paste it in our uh shared folder so here we go okay but the folder has not be, been shared yet so i'm gonna go to the uh chrome folder right click properties sharing tab advanced sharing so this is the same way like we did in our previous shared folder video it would be same apply okay and permission is default it is already given so i'm gonna copy this path because i'm gonna need this path all right let's close it now uh, we have a chrome uh, shared folder and under that we have the installer file now i'm going to the uh, ad because i need to create a new ou for the computers account because again this uh, group policy will be applied in the computers not the users so i'm going to go to the active directory users and computers and as you can see under the computers tab we have two computers that are registered and currently we are working on the client three that is the client pc that is already there uh, i can show you so this is already there i think scene has logged in okay so let's move this client 3 to a new ou so first i need to create an ou so let's new ou where is this organization unit now it would be a software on deployment that would be a perfect name all right our ou is created now we go to the computers again and client 3 this is the name of our pc client pc and i'm going to move it to the to the software deployment ou okay let's click on okay and if i just go to the software deployment so here we go the pc is available now now i'm going to apply group policy in this software deployment ou right you're getting my point so i'm going to minimize it i'm going to go to the tools and you know how to open the group policy management here is the option so under group policy uh, if i just go to the tech with pre uh, software deployment this is our ou so i'm gonna click right click create a gpo in this domain so guys uh, the creation of group policy uh, has already been discussed and has been shown in previous two videos so if you missed any of the video you can go ahead and check it out uh, all the link will be in the description okay now i'm gonna give it the name uh chrome okay it should be chrome deploy there's a name of the gpu click on ok now the gpu has been created so if i just open it here the chrome deploy now right click edit because i need to edit the gpu let's maximize it now i'm not going to go into the user configuration i'll go to the computer configuration policy and under policy i'm going to go to the software settings and you can see this is software installation is there so i'm going to right click on it and i'm going to the properties because i need to mention the path here you can see default package location and here we have to give the package location of our msi file and we can't go to the BIOS option we have to mention the server path so i already copied it so it is my take with pre then the chrome folder and under that we have the msi package okay so it's fine let's click on apply and click on ok after that go to the software installation again right click new 
package now we have to choose the package so this is our package so in the network we have take with free and then chrome then we have the installation file the msi file i'm going to click on open and here i'm going to choose the assigned click on ok now if the path is correct then you will be you are going to see the google chrome package you can see now the package has been there the google chrome 68.46 version and this is the location all right so the group policy has been activated now now i can close this path and uh, the chrome deploy has been applied to the software deployment ou and in the software deployment ou we have the client 3 machine so i'm gonna go to the client machine now to check okay so i'm gonna click on enter let's log in in scene and as you can see there is no google chrome and obviously because the group policy has not been updated yet so to quickly update it i'm going to press windows r cmd then the command you already know this gp update slash force so i'm forcing the gpo to update it quickly so that i can show you now you can see previously when we did group policy so it was just giving two messages that the group policy and the computer policy has been updated successfully now here as we have uploaded as we have changed the policy to deploy the software now we have to do a restart here you can see creation computer policies are enabled that can only run during startup so okay to restart so if you have any files that you want to save save it first then restart i do not have any such files so i'm going to press y and click enter so now you are about to be signed out okay no problem so that's wait okay so next time when you will boot up you will see uh, the system would take some time because the package has been installing the google chrome is installing in the backend okay by the group policy so it would take some time i mean like just one or two minute extra um, than the normal all right okay now i'm gonna log into scenes account again and let's see if the google chrome has already been installed so we are back and as you can see we have now google chrome installed in the client machine and like whoever is going to log in like harry seen anyone they're all going to have the google chrome in their desktop and it is installed you can just double click and you can check it so as you can see the group policy has been successfully applied to the client machine and as you can see chrome has been installed so there is no installation so it is already installed with the help of the package file and the group policy so guys i hope you understand the importance of group policy here and how it can be done easily uh, the software installation right so all you need the dot msi file so i hope you enjoyed the video guys thank you for watching and uh, if you like the video hit the like button if you have any question go to the comment section and please share this video with your friend and family so that it can reach out to many people thanks again stay safe bye bye